there. Welcome to the Daily Hope. It's good to be with you again. Our hope for today, our truth for today comes from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, verse four. These are the words of King Solomon. He's somebody who many of us could look at and say that he had everything that this world has to offer. He had wealth and power and influence. God even granted him whatever he wanted and he asked for wisdom, so he had wisdom. He had so many of the things that we often spend our lifetime striving after. And as Solomon experienced these things, he kind of got to the limits of them. And he realized the futility in it all, just how there is this, if you keep going and toiling and achieving that what you finally get still leaves you somewhat empty and hollow. So this chapter that we're in is a time in which Solomon's words are showing how he's being reflective and he's thinking about what life is really about, what really matters. And he's acknowledging that God has created a time for, for all of these different activities and um, that God created things um, seasonally and cyclically, cyclically. So there are ups and there's downs, there's an ebb and there's a flow to the way that God made life. And um, it's a blessing for us when we can recognize how God made us and made us to live in this place and be able to kind of lean into that. So in verse four, he says that there's a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. So these are things that you and I experience, we will experience. But my question for you is, do you take the time for them when they come up? Do you really get to lean into them and express them? Culturally, I, I think that negative emotions, I do, the idea of weeping or mourning is something that's to be hidden, um, something that's to be done privately. Um, I look at God's people and their festivals and their periods of mourning, and they did these things in community, in front of others and together. These weren't things that were meant to be hidden. They were things that God created a time and a space for because they were important to our human experience. And then laughing and dancing, um, these are things that the most reserved of us also hide inside. When was the last time you just let out a big belly laugh from the very center of your core in full expression of delight or joy or humor? And then dance. You know, I think of how reserved we all are in the movement of our bodies to music. I mean, how many people actually go on the dance floor at a wedding? You usually know it's a good party and that the people are close when they come together and dance together. So I wanna challenge you today to take the time that God has ordained for these seasons and for these moments. Fully live into and express your weeping and express your mourning. It's okay to not be okay. And then to fully express laughter and dance and fully lean into those expressions of the good in this world. So today, take time. Thank you.